Hey internet, I'm Hector Navarro and I get to do a thing that you wish you were doing, which is have a conversation with Tiffany Smith and Jason Inman about future DC TV shows. Let's get into it, here we go. What was your favorite episode or moment from this past season? Uh, I have a couple. I mean, all the shows I think had really great moments last season, but one of the ones that stands out the most to me, I guess I would say, is the episode of The Flash that Kevin Smith directed. There was so much stuff in that episode. I think it was called uh, Runaway Dinosaur. The Runaway Dinosaur, that's right. And what I loved about it was the fact that we got to see Barry in the Speed Force. We got to see all of those actors really tap into another version of themselves because we got to see Iris as the Speed Force. We got to see Barry and his mom have a moment, which was super, super emotional. And then there was a moment with, uh, yeah, he's with, so good. with Iris in the basement and you know she throws Cisco behind her. Um, and it's like, get behind me. And I love that moment because I feel like there's a lot of girls who watch that show and we haven't had tons of those strong moments from Iris, but that one really stood out. Um, and then when Detective West drops the mug, so to see if Wally's gonna pick it up or not, yeah. that's another great moment. <laughs> Just in that episode alone, there's like 10 great standout moments for me. So I really, really enjoyed that one. And you didn't even mention the Jason Muse cameo. Yeah. Which was hilarious, and you're yeah. like, oh yeah, Kevin Smith, this yep. is great, this is and so the, funny. I mean, it literally it was one of those episodes that I had all the feels, comic book nerd feels, family feels, romantic feels, because you've got that moment with Iris and Barry where she really acts as the lightning rod to bring him back. Um, and then there's like the pressure of trying to save everyone, because as soon as Barry comes back, it's like, we're all gonna die. Counterpoint, Jason? I don't have a counterpoint, that's <laughs> all good. Written by Zach Stentz. Yeah. If I were to pick my favorite uh, moment or episode from all the superhero shows, I, it's, it's a very close tie for me. And it's because there were two episodes that on two different shows that I felt really delved deep into comic book history. One is Welcome to Earth 2, the Flash episode where they finally went to Earth 2. I thought it was great. I love the moment where Barry got to talk to his mom on the phone. And I love the Easter egg where they cut to that phone and you saw that Diana, Bruce, and Hal are on his speed dial, which I think was fantastic. So it was just a cavalcade of awesome nerddom. The other one is from Legends of Tomorrow and it's called uh, The Magnificent Eight and it is the yeah. Jonah Hex episode. Yeah. Rip Hunter, Jonah Hex, it's so good. It's so good to see Jonah Hex being amazing. It kind of felt like we were inside that uh, Jimmy Palmiotti, Jonah Hex comic book show. There was uh, so much yeah. hype leading up to that episode too, just releasing the photo yeah. of who was gonna be Jonah Hex getting to that moment and having an entire episode where it delved into his story was And the so fact cool. that also that it wasn't a throwaway episode yeah. because you learned that Jonah Hex is the one who gave Rip Hunter his coat. Yeah. And you learned that Rip Hunter apparently spent like 10 years in the Old West, and yeah. he's an Old West fanatic. I, yep. That Those two like really delving deep into DC comic history were my favorite episodes. Yeah. Okay guys, looking forward to this next future season, what character or villain are you most looking forward to seeing? This is a hard one because there's a lot of characters that maybe we haven't seen for a little while, or have, you know, have been on but have disappeared for a bit. So for me, Every single time Wentworth Miller comes on the screen, <laughs> I am like so sucked in. I can't stop watching. I love what he does as Captain Cold. And seeing him leave the show for a bit, I was like, when we heard that he was coming back, I'm like, yes, just put him on every single show. He can have cameos on Legends. He can be on Flash. All of them. I want him on all of them. Uh, this is an easy, easy answer for me. Yeah. Superman. No. <laughs> no, I am excited for a character that not many people know about in DC Comics, Wild Dog. The vigilante with the attitude, he wears this jersey, he wears a hockey mask, and now he's gonna be fighting alongside Green Arrow because he's a character that I never thought I would ever see in live action. Yeah. Yeah. And he he's on a, he's, I saw him in a trailer the other day. And I was I like, saw holy him cow, on the TV. that's Wild Dog. Uh, yeah. If you don't know who Wild Dog is, go read his books. Um, Arrow is doing something really amazing with this team, uh, the, these team of lesser known DC characters, like, cause they're gonna have Artemis on there. There's, they're gonna do an episode where they're gonna bring back Christopher Chance, the human target, a very famous Vertigo character. Yes. So like, for me, Arrow is the place where the new interesting characters are gonna pop up. Here is the question that you have been waiting for me to ask. These two mega nerds right here. As comic book fans, what are you guys most looking forward to seeing for all of DC TV this next season. What I'm most excited about for these shows is just getting to see characters that readers have really connected to and getting to see them on your TV screen every week. I mean, the fact that we had King Shark 
is insanity. And he looks so watch good. Him on a TV show. I know. There's so much cool stuff that's happening. If you're a fan of DC, I mean, we're getting the Justice Society of America. That was my choice. In Legends of Tomorrow, yeah. talk about it. That Tell was about my it. choice. The fact that we are going to see a fully formed Justice Society of America. Now, they're not new to live action. We have seen them in previous shows yeah, sure. uh, before, but we are going to see some characters that we have not seen in live action before, like Citizen Steel, yeah. um, like Our Man, Rex Tyler being on the show, I think is so amazing. Like when he popped up in season one of Legends, I, it blew my mind that I never would have predicted that Legends was gonna give us the Just Society of America. And the fact that that's gonna be their entire season and episode two of Legends Tomorrow is titled Justice Society of America. That as a deep, deep DC comic fan is yeah. a dream come true. One thing I wanna bring up that no one here has mentioned so far that what? is a very exciting thing for next season. Wild Dog, you've already mentioned Wild Dog. I've mentioned Wild Dog and it's so wild. Captain Cold. It's gonna be so, no, I'm not mentioning Captain Cold, but a character that nobody has talked about so far, Miss Martian. Yeah, showing up on oh, Supergirl. Yeah. Martian Manhunter was one of the best, Dude. really cool hidden puzzle secrets of Supergirl. Yeah, and we've got to see totally. the invasion of Mars and all. It's like David Harewood did an amazing job as Martian John. Manhunter. Uh, this Jeff Johns created character, I think, is going to add a really interesting element, especially since Miss Martian is going to be very similar to Supergirl, and they could have a very interesting relationship. Well, it makes me think about when on the Flash, every like son, like when Wally came in for the first time, yeah. with Barry. And it's like, what is that relationship like? Because now he has a biological son, you know? And that's that same relationship where it's like, John Jones has really played the father figure to both of the Danburg girls. And so having someone else come into the picture where it's like, what is that gonna look like? And having someone else who's powered because Wally's not powered yet. Um, so seeing what <laughs> what did you mean by that when you did that? I what does mean, he mean, we know we're gonna get more speedsters. I don't know when, but we're gonna flash <laughs> Um, so I think that's really an interesting thing that we'll get to see is the dynamic between the two. And I think with Arrow too, you know, we talked about the different characters that they're bringing in. I think Prometheus is gonna add a really interesting vibe to that show. I keep saying vibe, like it's too many favorite. times. We keep loving vibe. I can't yeah. help it, I can't Prometheus help it. in the comic books is sort of the ultimate villain. Like yeah. he, he studies the heroes and yes. he learns all their secrets. So it'll be interesting to see another, like sort of a dark archer similar to what we had in season yeah. one, although a dark archer that's specifically targeted at Oliver. I love it. Uh, well guys, we have to wrap out now. I wanna thank my guest today, Tiffany Smith, for bringing her fantastic vibe to the conversation. Oh, I like it. And Mr. Jason Inman for being the most excited about Wild Dog I've ever seen a human being be excited about anything. Everyone will be like me. It was a real joy to talk to you guys. Cannot wait for the new DC TV seasons. Me too. So have we talked about Wild Dog yet? Let me tell you about Wild Dog. <laughs>